Hi there, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, again, this is a drown reading, so it may or may not tune in for each and every Virgo people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. So, um, without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading and see what's going on. I kind of feel that this month is going to be very interesting for a lot of Virgo people out there. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we do have a lot of male energy cards going on into this reading. We do have um, our first card over here. We have the King of Wands. We do have the King of Pentacles. And over here, we do have the King of Swords all at the same time. So um, I kind of feel that, you know, this is going to be very much of a typical um, love scenario reading. And um, it's been a while, but I kind of feel that it's been such a long while since I was able to do a reading for, for Virgos that are not in concern of whether to find the love of their life or, you know, a lot of... I have made a lot of videos in the past and a lot of people have been commenting and saying we Virgos are single, you know, we're, you know, there's a lot of stories right there in the comment section in um, the previous videos and this is a reading wherein I feel that maybe, um, as, you know, the people or the person that I'm tuning into this reading for you Virgo people out there is in a relationship you know this is not a point where we're in you are finding a partner looking a partner this is about you being in a relationship or being focused on a particular person in your life so it's that um, form of energy that I'm picking up over here and it seems that you are already in a relationship with someone and um maybe for quite some time even or you know for some people this could be a new enter of a relationship though um if i will you know see this in a very objective way you know even if you're not yet in a relationship the existence of a lot of male energy cards here is telling us that you know maybe there is someone coming in very soon so that's actually a very wonderful note of energy because there is some form of union in the air that we are seeing and i would say that you know this beginning form of ex news that i'm saying right now is already you know a wonderful note of energy to bring in to the coming um year in 2021 for a lot of virgos out there but anyways um let's just you know dive into the reading and see what's really going on because not everything is roses and flowers for you guys that's for sure um so we see here that again, I, I've mentioned early, we do have here the King of Wands. And this is a very um, high energy type of energy. Uh, it talks about a male and it could be that you are that person or maybe you are um, in a relationship or in concern with a particular male in your life. You know, it could be vice versa. It could be a woman in your life that has this form of energy. Um they could be they're not exactly unstable because we do have here the king of pentacles at the top um so i kind of feel that they there is a form of grounded energy in them it's just that you know maybe there is some form of mood swings as well, as well you know that form of energy very changeable energy i would say so it could be that there are changes with that person um, that is causing you some form of issues um, for the month of December. Uh, being crossed over by the Ace of Pentacles, we can say that, you know, uh, it could be a relationship met with good fortune or there is really something really blessed and gifted with that particular person or whatever it is that you're in concern with, you know. You're starting off the, the month with a blast, but... <laughs> yes there's always a butt into everything unfortunately we do have here the five of swords now um 
the five of swords has always a negative connotation into things it's always related to to losses and defeat and sometimes deceit all the same time so i'm not saying that is what you're going through right now it's just that um there could be some issues in the relationships wherein there it's giving you some form of disappointment in the air let's put it that way just to be um you know because it because this is not a deceit kind of energy i don't see it that way this is like a light light disappointment or maybe something is disappointing you in the in the scenario and because of the high vibration of passions in the air we, we do have a lot of fiery energy going on over in this reading it makes me feel that you know someone is acting in a very emotional manner it could be you it could be the other person but any negative scenario that might be happening in your life this month is very much temporary and the awareness that it is temporary is going to be your saving grace that will help you to not feel very pessimistic with certain things in your life especially in terms of your love life so um yeah uh so far we're seeing here that you are having some form of disappointment or something that does not make you happy uh it could be through a message we do have here the page of pentacles which is all about you know messengers um the things that we find out stuff like that uh there could be something that doesn't make you happy and it could be through a form of communication and we also have over here the nine of swords this is actually the nine of swords i don't know if you guys can actually see this clearly and uh this is giving you some form of a lot of pessimistic thoughts you know and a lot of virgo people uh tend you know even if there are things that are making them happy it's easy for them to fall prey into negative thoughts negative thought pattern maybe they this is because of they are so used to um, the disappointments that are happening in their life and i kind of feel that you know a lot of virgo people need to move past that not everything is going to be terrible in your life and now that you are experiencing some form of blessing now that you're experiencing some form of happiness in here i kind of feel that you need to embrace that embrace that feeling of happiness you know learn to accept that you you can be happy that you will be happy and just because there is a form of hiccups in the relationship doesn't mean that the relationship is going um it's going haywire or it's going into a difficult path or uh, it doesn't mean that you guys are going to break up so you have to get rid of all of those negative thoughts and these thoughts that i see is really part of your maybe um self mechanism or self limiting belief that you have placed on yourself based on your past experiences and the past experiences are things that we need to overcome well not really overcome but we need to learn to accept that has occurred in our life and it's not going to be the the foundation of our life but it is something that helps us overcome things helps us really grow to the person that we are uh, from here on forward so you need to learn to let go of those negative um, facets and happenings in your life with the three of wands over here we're seeing over here uh this is a situation wherein maybe you have some form of goals there is something that you really really want to happen there's something that you really want to happen and the way that i'm seeing this this could be a scenario we're in maybe there is something that you want to plan there's something that you are planning there's something that you want to to manifest there's something that maybe you have talked to with this person uh, maybe you guys have decided to do a picnic or go to a, to travel or something like that you know you have a plan with the other person or whoever this king of wands is in your life you made some plans with them however um it could be that this plan might not occur 
in the way that you are thinking about you know in the way that you wish for or in the way that you guys have talked to in the past you know so that is creating some form of disappointment in you and it's making you really really frustrated that is really how i see this and with the ace of wands over here at the middle card along with the five of swords it's telling us that there is something that you want to begin however there is a form of loss in there it could be that it did not occur it did not happen so that is a real huge possibility that might be happening for you um and all at the same time, um, this disappointment or the concerns that you have right now is becoming a, a huge fuel for you to have really, really strong emotions. Not really emotions, but you're becoming very, very passionate. And that is what this devil card is all about. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there is a form of intensity here and a form of stubbornness in the air. I kind of feel that this is a situation wherein you are wanting to achieve something and you really, really want to make it happen. You know, there is a form of um, fixated kind of energy that I'm picking up over there. However, because of the king of swords over here, I kind of feel that this person, the person that you're dealing with right now or the person like your partner is not going to budge, you know regardless of what kind of tantrums you do regardless of how mad you become they're not gonna budge they're the type of person that really does not give in you know they, they can be very passionate but they're not the type of person that can you know bend their um, decisions or they're not an emotional type of person i would say they can be passionate but they're not emotional let's put it that way just to be very clear on the energies that we're working with so um yeah so i would say that the, the frustrations that we're seeing here is not happening with the other person but it could be happening to you so we're seeing that there's some form of frustration there's some form of stuck energy some form of confusion even that is happening to you but it's not affecting the relationship and you know the relationship is still okay there is still a connection a union in the air and you guys are still together i i would say it's just that it's not gonna work in the way that you want things to be so my advice for you guys is to let it go <laughs> or at the very least you know maybe try to talk to the person and you know open up what you feel and don't don't face the scenario in a very aggressive way don't face the scenario in a very um negative way you know don't try to fight with your partner or fight with this person whoever they are um it is going to be best that you you try to understand where they're going from they're coming from rather and maybe they have their own issues they have their own problems and they really cannot always attend to you or really take care of your own set of emotions maybe the things that you are wanting is becoming like um it's like your own verification that if they do this they love me but you will always tell that to yourself you know the next once they complete the task that you put in your mind after completing that task you will have another task in your head and then you'll tell yourself that if they complete this task they love me so it's like you know um something that is very much self-serving and it's not really about the relationship but this is just about you to feel at ease or feel better or have some form of confidence but it's okay to have confidence with that it's just that you know i just kind of feel that for for a lot of virgo people that are tuning in with this reading um nev nothing is ever going to be enough until they learn to accept that they are being loved they are truly being loved and they learn to really trust the person and give them some form of freedom all at the same time so um 
yeah, I just kind of feel that there is going to be a temporary setback that is going to be happening because of some form of disappointment. But other than that, um, there's really nothing much to say. I just kind of feel that uh, there is a need for me to say that um, you should not take this in a very negative light. It doesn't mean that um, the things that you want is not going to happen means it's the end of the world. It's not, okay? There's going to be some form of blockages and it's telling us that now is not a good time. So the things that you're wishing for, the things that you are wanting to happen right here and right now is not going to happen. But it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It doesn't mean that the relationship is going to fall apart. It's just that maybe that there are circumstances that is not really fit for things to occur right here and right now. Maybe they will in the near future, but try not to force yourself you know there is no need for you to put stress in the relationship when it's really not needed also with the nine of swords over here i'm seeing here that you know this is not a time of pleasure even with the other person maybe they are undergoing something maybe they're sick or um i don't know because the nine of swords has a very stressful alignment and mental kind of scenario could be headaches and stuff like that so maybe there are things that they are not able to to accompany accompany you with you're not able to entertain you with so there is some form of energies like that so i would say that there could be disappointments but you just need to learn how to let go and to let things be and to be happy of the connection that you have with this person you know you know yourself that they loved you they love you <laughs> they love you okay so you just need to trust that and you don't need to um to complain each and every time that they cannot do something for you they, they trust me they will it's just that not right now okay you need to understand it so don't be stubborn because if you do become stubborn about this and try to put stress into that you will just you will not hurt them you will hurt your own self because you're going to have a lot of pessimistic thoughts and you will feel blocked and emotionally disturbed which is not really ideal because that is not how the situation is looking like this is just about you um having your bad set of um behavior patterns happening again so um you just need to be aware of that so um yeah so far this is it for my reading for you virgo people out there i think it's very quick because it's a very straightforward reading it's really telling us that this is not the time and there could be disappointments in the air but um this is all going to pass you know there's going to be some form of happy outcome and there's no need for you to be serious if things don't happen in your way there goes so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and if you do want a more personal reading you can do that by booking a session with me but <laughs> my website is actually down right now because i'm revamping it i'm trying to change things up so you won't be able to access that however you can reach me to my email in the stars by chrissy at gmail.com if you do want to book a session with me okay so i'll see you guys again next year <laughs> i'm really happy for you virgos goodbye